This is a recap of the Grand Rapids City Council meeting held tonight, Monday, May 8th, 2023. First item of business is we actually conducted our oath of office for our new Chief of Police, Andy Morgan. We swore him in and it is official now and we congratulate Andy once again. And it was nice. We had his family here. His wife pinned his chief badge on him. A nice event to, to see. We had a typical approved minutes, claims, consent agenda. Under our regular business, we adopted a nepotism policy. The nepotism policy states that nobody will be appointed to a position in which he or she would directly or indirectly supervise or be supervised by an immediate fam family member. This is uh, somewhat standard in city government and we, we wanted to make sure that we added that at this point. The only thing it won't apply to is part-time paid uh, firefighter positions. After adopting that, we appointed uh, Tim Durkis to the position of police sergeant with, with Captain, uh, a new police chief. Um, that opened up a uh, captain position, which we filled at the last meeting which now opens up a sergeant position. Uh, that uh, Officer Dirkus will now be a police sergeant. And with that, more dominoes will fall and uh, at some point our Human Resources Department will come back to us uh, with re a recommendation to appoint um, or open up a post uh, a police officer position. Uh, having done that, we uh, conducted a public hearing to review and propose an adopted amendment to the 2021-2025 capital improvement plan. Back a few years, we, we uh, issued bonds for our new fire hall. And due to some uh, change orders, we were able to reduce the cost of the fire hall. We were able to save $625,000 from those bonds. Additional money could be used to pay down those bonds, but we do have some other city needs, the most important of those for needed improvements at the Grand Rapids Library. If we use that money to reduce the original bonds, we would have to issue new bonds for the fixing. And our original bonds that we're paying at 1.6% and uh, new bonds would probably be roughly 3% plus uh, closing costs, et cetera. The council chose to uh, adopt uh, an amendment to the 2021-2025 capital improvement plan to include the, the library project. And that library project is, is uh, mainly to cover the, ma mainly the walls and exteriors of the building. The building is now 23 years old and this will replace the exterior sealant and joints, which are in poor condition and walls are rotting with water um, g getting in them uh, to repair and replace flashing, uh, remove and reset capstones, uh, replace uh, flashing again, um, fix the window in the east office, uh, reinstall, uh, bring it up to a new condition uh, perform sealant ma maintenance, uh, repair and skylights, um, clean the brick to remove stains and moss and water repellent products to extend useful life, uh, spot masonry repairs as needed, and um, repaint the exposed steel on the building exterior. So uh, something you have to do with your with uh, buildings as they age is, you know, keep them up to date and fix them so that uh, you're not spending more money down the road. So uh, the library is at that age, it, it won't be too long and it probably will need, uh, not probably, we, we know that down the road it's gonna need um, a new roof, either shingles or membrane on it. So uh, we, we chose to save some money by not having to reissue bonds, which would be at a higher percentage now. So we, we are just transferring uh, the, the, the leftover funds from the fire hall to this uh, library project. Uh, with that, we adjourn the meeting. Our next regular meeting is scheduled for May 22nd at 5 p.m. and we will see you then.